You are welcome again to our YouTube channel. Today's video, we are going to be teaching you the basic universal formula. Our calculation is so. This calculation ranges from neck, bust, armhole, etc. There are so many of them that we cannot really measure where take it close. But when you use these formulas, you will be able to get this measurement right. Even if the person is fat, the person is not even there physically. Like most times, they send measurements to us to sew. But with these formulas, whether you take the boss palm or not, you will be able to get the boss palm. You are able to get the neck. You are able to get the uh, cup size. And so on and so forth. Before we go into the lesson proper, if you are new to this our channel, please remember to subscribe, comment, and like our videos with this formula we have on the board here bust is very important that is the bust of the customer without bust you cannot work with these uh, formulas there's no way you can work on them but once you have the customer's bust you can work with the rest because every part of this formula involves the box so we need the bust to work with this formula we are starting from the neck we have the neck here, the neck area. I have to take measurement for neck. Even if you don't know the customer, you have never seen the customer before, and you want to measure the neck, but you have the bust, you can get the neck, the wideness of the neck for high neck. Then from your hard neck, you can decide how wide you want the remaining part of the neck. So we we'll go straight to the board now. We have the neck. Use the bust, the measurement of the bust, I divide it into eight. When you divide bus into eight, you plus one, then you divide by two, and you get the exact neck. If it is three inches, if it is 3.5, you will know exactly what the neck is. So, this is example number one. For example, my bus is 43. So, I use my bus in this measurement. If you divide 43, by 8, it will give you 5.375. And I really want you to go back to all those our tape rule mm -hmm. that we convert oh. to decimal points. When you go back there, you will see this 3.75. You will know exactly what you are working with. So when I divide my 43 by 8, it gives me 5.375. Then I plus it with this one. It gave me 6.375 again. Then we have a 6.375 all over 2. That is divided by 2. It will give us 3.1875. When you approximate this 3.1875, it will give us 3.2, which is 28. To get the actual formulas in and the calculations, you need either your phone or the calculator to get your accurate answer. Say for example, this is our top line of our blouse. This is our fold now, it's our fold. Then you get the 3.2 here for the back. Then we get our shoulder slope here. Then have our hand go here. Then this 3.2 we have here, you will equally measure here 3.2 to wherever it gets to, add to 8 to it to make it deeper. Then the neck will now come down. It's going to come down a little. It means the cross side is deeper than the back. But whatever you get here, this 3.2 here, is what you are going to bring down here. When you bring it down, you add this to 8 to it, to 8, to 8 to it, to get the neck depth. This to 8 is constant. It, you must always add this to 8. So whatever you get from this, your neck measurement, you mark the back, you bring the same to the down, and add to 8. To 8 is constant in as much as you have used your boss to divide this and get this formula, it will give you exact neck of that person. 
formula two, we have the boss pan here. You don't really need to put a pro or somebody's nipple and start measuring from nipple to nipple. All you need to do is equally divide the boss pan by eight minus one. You get the person's exact boss pan. In most cases, we even sew without seeing customer. Maybe they must set measurement to you to sew, and the person is not the present physically for you to measure. All you need to do, in as much as you have the boss measurements, divide the boss circumference by eight. When you divide boss circumference by eight, you minus one. It will give you the boss part. This is my boss, and I'm using my boss for example. My boss is 43, divided by 8, gives us 5.375. If you go to our conversions, you discover that 5.378 is 538. It is 538. Then that 538, you minus 1 from 538, it will give you 4.375, which is 438. When you minus 1 from 5.375, it will give you 4.375. So in your tape proof, this is this is 4.3. That is 438. It will give you 438 if you minus it. This is the formula for boss. Or just try and get used to one. This is another way of getting boss pan again. This other formula is boss circumference divided by 4 minus 2. Take for example, I still use my boss again. My boss is 43 divided by 4. It gives us 10.75. Then 10.75 minus 2. It will give me 8.75. This 8.75 it's not all fold yet. Then by the time you fold it, you divide this 8.75 by 2, it will give you this same 4.375. You can see it is the same. All you need to do is just try to be used to any of this in order for you to get the exact boss pan of your clients. Formula number 3, as we have here, shoulder to bust point. This shoulder to bust point, most times we don't even measure it. Or especially when the person is more available for you to measure. And you want to get the shoulder to the bust point. All you need to do is to divide the bust by 4 plus 1. It will give you the bust point. That is from the higher shoulder to your boss point. This is equally my measurement. I've decided to use my measurement on this so that it will be more clearer. If you divide 43 by 4, it's going to give you 10.75. This 10.75 plus it with 1, it will give you 11.75. On your tape rule, this is 11. 6, 8, which is level 3 quarter. This shoulder to other boss is another measurement that is very, very important when making boss theory. The shoulder to other boss, if you don't get it, there's no way you can make a good corset. So for you to make a good corset, you have to take from the higher shoulder to other boss. But in case the customer is not there, all you need to do, in as much as you have got this uh, in level point seven five, for you to get your other boss here, because this is a bigger boss. For a bigger boss, you add four inches to your boss point. That is, you add four inches to this. Four inches. If you plus it, it will give you fifteen point seven five for fuller boss. Yeah, but if it is a smaller boss from boss 36, you add 3 inches to the boss point to get your other boss. This one we brought a smaller boss here now. Boss 36 divided by 4 
is equal to 9. And 9 plus 1 is 10. This 10 is the bus point of this smaller one. This is the formula. This is the smaller one, and this is the bus point. So in order for you to get other bus of this smaller size, you add 3 inches to it to get your other bus. You get your other bus from the bus point. And in order for you to get even waste to the waistline of your blouse, you add another 3 inches. It will give you 16 for the waistline of your clients. Then for the big one, we added 4 inches to get our other bus. Add the same 3 inches to here. You will get 18 point seven five to the waistline. This is our full athlete right now. We have gotten a, a full athlete from this shoulder to boss point. Then from boss point to your other boss. Then from our other boss, we get the waistline. So this is a athlete of your blouse. We are done with the third formula on our board today. But in our next video, we are going to show you how to get the size of your handbook that will fit your customer perfectly well. Then we equally put you through the cap height of your sleeve, how to get your cap height of your sleeve. You don't just cut sleeve, anyhow you want to cut it. There are formula for it. We equally go to teach you on our next video. If you are new to our channel, remember to subscribe to our channel, share, like, and drop a comment. Thank you very much. We love you all from Exotic Designs. <laughs>